Hi, welcome back. We're getting into the final stretch of Quest for Glory 1, folks. I've been doing some training off camera again. Check out those stats. Not bad. Intelligence and luck are both really hard to build up. Yeah. If you're not a magic user, especially. So. If you're a magic yeah. user, everything's hard to build up. But intelligence actually goes up faster for magic users than for anyone else. Well, yes. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to visit the heel her again. Here, the inside bolts slide open. Come on in! Here is the potion of dispel. Use it by splashing it on the victim of a magic spell. Mind you, this won't work if the spell is caused by a magic item rather than a cast spell. Well, this could be useful. Alright. We've got a lot of cash here, and it's kind of weighing us down, so... So we'll buy some potions oh. to have that problem. You pay the healer for the potion and put it away. I hope this will help you! You pay the healer for the potion and put it away. I hope this will help you! You pay the healer for the potion and put it away. I hope this will help you. You once again pay the healer for the potion and put it away. I hope this will help you too. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, healer. Now that's about it for her. So, I'm going to go out and face Baba Yaga. Ooh. Well, this is sure to go well. Yeah. Ah, oh, it'll be easy. Yeah, no problem. You just go in there, she just sort of her a couple of she'll run away. Yeah. Right? I think it's actually north, not... Uh, okay. North okay, I'm a little... I'm a little lost here, but... Run! You run, it's a goblin! No! <laughs> <laughs> be dreadful if you got attacked by goblins. Here we are. Did you get it? Did you get my glowing gem? Yes, I did. Give me my gem! As you wish. You place the glowing gem inside the skull. I can see! I have eyes again! Yeah! So that's what you look like! Hey! Oh well, have fun visiting Baba Yaga. And good luck. You'll need it. I hope you can remember the rhyme. Rhyme? You know, that thing that you paid Bruno for. Alright. Right. I think it's without the promo. Yeah. I don't see the way, but I always feel guilty if I do it that way. Well. Hey, it's up here. This might be easier than I thought. She's not home? Uh oh. Look, pets, we have a visitor! Powers of night, shadows of day, heed my words. Henceforth, you stay! Your body is frozen, frozen by the power of the witch's spell. Well, dears, what shall we have for supper tonight? Your sandwiches? I had something more formal in mind. Ah, that's it. Frog legs fricassee! Now how does that spell go? Hear me all powers of cloth I mana. Turn now my guest into species called Rana. Aw, oh, dang hmm, I like that cool. spell for our eyes, Miss Kids. Doesn't it look delicious? Critics, we can't all be Garma, I suppose. Now, soon to be supper. I don't suppose you have a name. Oh. Yes, of course. You try your best to crook out your name, or at least let the witch know that you do indeed have one. So you are 
the one who's trying to be a hero around here. The only good hero that that hero I always say. This is off to a great start. But I do have need for a brave fool. Are you brave? Yes, otherwise I wouldn't be here. <laughs> you make little froggy sounds, trying your best to indicate your agreement. Well, if you're willing to do me a small little teensy favor for me, I may reconsider having you for supper. I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Wouldn't you be a sweet and fetch me some? Yes, of course. Anything but frog legs for could see, you think, you crook your agreement to the task. And I had my mouth watering for frog. Oh well. <clears throat> hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled at precisely midnight. This I tell you and this I say. Return with the root at the break of next day. Hear what I say, and no, I don't lie. Bring back the root, or else you will die. <laughs> She's not in fact laugh, right. You, shoo. Wait a minute. She lost me. From a distance, you hear the witch in tone. Oops, I very nearly forgot. Hear me, all power, the mana, and more. Fool back as he was before! As you contemplate the occurrences of the last few minutes, you conclude that you better find her mandrake root, and fast! Oh dear, the night is still young. <coughs> and oh, uh, look, it's a cheat door. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's you can kill one of these. Yeah. Cheat doors are tough, but they uh, are at least profitable. Yeah. Yeah, you got points for that one. Yeah. It's the first of the... I think everyone is supposed to kill each other once. So it just mm -hmm. said there was no trigger? You need but to actually read those things out? Some of the Cheetar's claws have been broken off or damaged, apparently in battle. You remove the remaining claws and put them away in your pack. Cheetar claws are worth money if you give them the healer. Let's rest a bit and... Keep time. time. Not too long. Need to kill time. I'm until midnight. Oh, and look, there's another cheetah. More cheetahs. But you got away. Yeah. Cheetahs at least are easy to outrun. I like source races. Oh, okay, dear. we're above the graveyard right now. As you can tell by the ghosts. You can tell the graveyard is on the nearby screen. You can't actually tell which one this is, but. If you go into the graveyard, just. Mm -hmm. That's midnight. It says you are getting tired, it means it's midnight. Down, down. Right. We will not fight a mantra. Alright. Now. The interesting mm -hmm. thing is that because of the ghost here, it's actually safe to be on the uh, screen. Monsters won't attack yeah. you while the ghosts are around. I don't know why. No, no this is it's gonna be dangerous, ghosts. so I'm using the undead on. You feel a tingling sensation as you rub the young all, all over your body. Do that while we're being fully clothed. And fast. This must be the town graveyard. What a rundown place. It appears that spirits frolic here during the dark hours. Okay, get the root fast. You wrench the mandrake plant free from the tombstone on which it has grown. You hear the scream like the, that of a dying child as you yank the root from the ground. Charming. Better get back to Baba Yaga. Yeah. Before dawn. It's no pressure then. Mm -hmm. Just run right past that mantra. Mm -hmm. Then the goblins no time to play right now. Go north. Oh dear, it's Saurus Rex. I don't have time to face it. So, you made it back, did you? She is expecting you. Bye. Okay. That's so reassuring. 
Let's make sure we're out. Yeah, if you stand too close to the house, it's on you when you die. Now are you happy? Now are you yeah, happy? That looks like a comma to me. <laughs> All right. I like the sound cues especially. Hey then. She's not home again. Back so soon. Um. Spirits of mist and creatures of fog transform my guest to the shape of a frog. This I vow. Stay here now. Once again, you're a frog, and once again, you can't move. You find it very exasperating. Really? Yeah, who would have thought? Yum, yum, froggy breath. Did you bring me my mandrake like you promised? Yes, I did. If you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. Got a frog in your throat? Hmm. I like how her pets even laugh at her jokes. <laughs> England sensation is wearing off. That was and we just bit. missed a line because of that. Yeah. yeah. That was supposed to be the bit where she mm. says she's going to have to yeah. take turn your back backpack. Back. Which means yeah. she has to turn back to a human. Mm. Hey, you have much more appetizing this one. <laughs> hey. Creature the fog and spirit the fog. Pretend the true form to this rather dumb frog. Well, your intelligence score isn't that high, but still. Yeah, I've got intelligence. The tingling sensation is gone. It means the ungood is worn off. Yeah. Now, did you put it in your backpack? Of course, my tingling sensation was replaced with another one. Ah, here it is. Kids, we have it. The final ingredient! Now we can make our greatest creation! Uh-oh. Mandrake Moose! <laughs> <laughs> What's that, children? You think we should reward our little unlucky here? Why, yes, I think that's a good idea. I'll let you live this time. Next time, though, it's frog legs for sure. That isn't the reward I have in mind, but it'll do. So, go! What an awful creature to turn me into a frog, you say to yourself. Someday I must return the favor. Hint, hint. Hmm. Clue, clue. Um, okay. Well, my intelligence went up. It takes a lot of brains to be a frog. <laughs> Let's rest up a bit. And the goblins want to play. Yeah. Which is really stupid of them because. Because I'm a big tough fighter. I. I can be beat them easily. So are we roaming around looking for monsters that aren't Cheetars now? Yeah. We roam around really the forest like looking for bites. A... We would like to see a troll. Oh, hey. Mm. You mad? Mm. Let's don't. This is a troll. Yeah. They're... Trolls only come out at night. They're the only monster that only comes out at night no matter how yeah. far into the game they are. Trolls are big and bad. I find them actually somewhat easier than Cheetars. Yeah, but I'm strong too. You search your opponent. You find 48 silver coins and carefully place them in your pouch. You thought that the troll concealed some of the treasure in that thick beard, but you don't find any there. Hint, hint, hint. You remove as much of the troll's beard as you can and put it away in your pack. All right.